Hi, this is Stuart Bruce from Washington College, and today I'm going to give a brief lecture on Introduction to 3D Analyst. 3D Analyst is another extension of the ArcGIS software, uh, allowing you to do some pretty cool 3D visualizations, work with uh, raster imagery, uh, but also vector data. Um, it's not standard with ArcGIS, it's additional purchase of the software. Last time I checked, it runs about $2,000. Like all extensions, you have to install it, and then you have to make sure that you go to the Customize Extensions and go ahead and turn on the 3D Analyst extension. Some of the cool things you can do with 3D Analyst uh, create, obviously, 3D dimensional views. You can visualize modeling or analysis results, um, add a lot of realism for visualizations, and you can export your visualizations into animated videos. Now the 3D Analyst extension does operate inside the ArcGIS desktop product and you can use many of the tools there. However, the primary interface for 3D Analyst is the program ArcScene. You can also use ArcGlobe. Uh, ArcScene and ArcGlobe have similar functionalities. Uh, this exercise and actually this part of the course is really going to focus on the use of the ArcScene product. So this screenshot is showing some examples of how you might manipulate and view data. Uh, basically, these are building outlines. Uh, poly these are polygon layers that we've actually extruded to provide a third dimension. Primarily, what we're going to adjust to get the third dimension is the Z value. Either you manually set the Z value, or you can pull the Z value from the attributes of your polygon layers. Now I have this slide up showing you the different tools in ArcScene. I'm not going to go over every single one of these. Some of the more important ones are, of course, the Navigate allows you to sort of rotate the view. The Fly is quite a lot of fun. Uh, you'll have a chance to sort of learn how to use these tools when you're actually doing the lab exercise. Like with any Esri product, you have to be able to get the data into ArcScene. And basically, you can use the Add Data button, just like the ArcGIS desktop product. One of the very useful tools in ArcScene is to be able to adjust the base height. So if you put a terrain model in, or even if you don't, you basically can set where your features will appear. If you add a terrain model, then you can adjust your vector layers so they basically conform to the terrain model and actually follow the surface of the Earth. The extrusion uh, tab allows you to basically assign a height to any um, vector layer. This is how, for example, for building outlines that we can extrude the buildings and actually have 3D objects within ArcScene. Now, just like the ArcGIS desktop product, you can adjust the symbology, the colors, and so forth for your 3D um, sort of vector objects. It works really exactly the same as it does in ArcGIS desktop. ArcScene also comes with a lot of 3D symbol sets, such as cars, trees, buildings. You can use these predefined 3D symbols to add a lot of realism to your animations. You basically just have to pick the different symbol sets that you want to use. You can turn them on and then they'll be available inside the symbol selector. The example here shows how I've added some 3D buildings that look fairly realistic. They're not necessarily the buildings that are located physically on that street, but you can sort of resemble a neighborhood very quickly. Now this exercise actually uses a project that we did for St. Michael's. Um, basically we modeled the entire town and we put a new development in. If you follow the link here, you can actually learn more about that project and you can see the finished 3D flyover. One word of caution with ArcScene, uh, it does have a habit of crashing at the most uninvited time. So it's highly recommended that you save your um, sort of ArcScene document frequently. That way you can quickly recover from a system crash. And that ends my lecture on Introduction to 3D Analyst. There will be three exercises for you to do in this lesson.